besides my passion for stop-motion animation, I've always had a keen interest in cryptozoology. In fact, I write a column on the subject for a Swedish magazine, and I thought it would be fun to combine these interests in a video project. So, you really don't have to think twice about where to start. In the world of cryptozoology, there's hardly a phenomenon more famous than the Loch Ness Monster. But this is a monster that doesn't seem to be able to make up its mind about what it is, really. I'm probably expected to go with something like the stop-motion Please You Zor in the Crater Lake Monster from 1977. But Nessie is something far more nebulous, as you shall see. We should really start way back in ancient times. According to modern researchers, the so-called Pictish beast, represented in stone carvings, could be the Loch Ness Monster. A famous story from around 700 AD tells how Saint to be Columba encountered a monster in the river Ness and drove it away with his faith. But there is no description of what the monster looked like. There is, however, another river Ness encounter in the 12th century. According to a manuscript by cleric Walter Bingham, that's what came out of the river. Traditionally, Loch Ness is the home of the water horse, a shape-shifting supernatural creature. It's easy to see how generations could tell stories about the lake. It's huge, with dark, foreboding waters. It's actually during the 1930s that the ongoing slew of modern age sightings take off. People see something unfamiliar splashing around in the lake. Even weirder, they see it on land. According to Mr. and Mrs. Spicer, they saw this thing crawling across a road beside the loch. Artist Alistair Dallas claims he observed this creature. Arthur Grant says he almost hit this beastie with his motorcycle. Lieutenant McPee Fordyce reported that he encountered this weird thing. But it's in the murky waters that most people see the monster. Like this observation from Greta Finley and her son Harry in 1952. There's been lots of photographs. Some are even from under the water. Is that a flipper? With all this information, there's been a bunch of ideas of what Nessie could actually be. Conservationist Sir Peter Scott depicted Nessie as a bulkier evolution of the plesiosaur, more adapted for a colder climate. He named his creature Nessiteras rhombopteryx, Latin for the monster of Ness with a diamond-shaped fin. In 1977, Anthony Doc Shields performed a magic ritual at Loch Ness and took these photos. He theorized that this is not a plesiosaurian descendant at all, but actually the spout of a giant mollusk. F.W. Holliday suggested that Nessie might be a huge invertebrate, like a really big version of the bizarre extinct Tully monster. Of course, the local tourist industry has made the most of the phenomena. Most postcards seem to suggest that Nessie is some kind of serpent, but my favorite version is a sort of a dinosaur Scottish terrier hybrid. Now, 
Now, it turns out that some of that amazing evidence was actually nothing of the kind. This was apparently just a model. The famous flipper photograph was so heavily retouched that the original probably just shows the bottom of the lake. So, every now and then some people delight in proclaiming that the Loch Ness Monster has been debunked once and for all. But that doesn't matter. The monster is still there. The phenomenon of Loch Ness will survive all skeptics, it seems. Every once in a while, a great dark hump or a neck will emerge from the loch. That's just the way it is.